Oh, well, finally at the train station in Creole. I don't know which way the train is going to go. I think the train is going to come this way and go back down toward that way down down there. But I'm not totally sure. So, but it's still cold. I don't know what temperature is now. It's warmed up from 27, so it's not super cold. This is where we are, the Creole, yeah, 1147. That's probably us. And we're going down to Divisadero and arrived there at 1341. So the train continues on to a lot of different places here. So, but if it's on time, we shall see here. All right. <laughs> A little entertainment here this morning while we're waiting for the train. A little bit there, thank you. The train is coming, it's coming way down there. There it comes. It's coming in there. All right. The train is a coming. Let's stay behind the yellow line. All right. Here it comes, coming down the creel. He's slowing down. March 9th, 2024. I had a better seat up front, but then they kind of said, well, you have to sit in your assigned seats, which is way in the back here. I, I got part of my view blocked here, whereas up there, I was next to the emergency exit. I had a whole window that was pretty clean. But then after we got to our assigned seats, they said, no, you can pretty much take any seat because it's not going to be crowded. But somebody else already took the other seat. So I'm on the left side of the train. Somewhere I heard the left side is the preferred side going this way. But the wind is a little dirty. Let me give you a little look outside. You're looking through dirt. Not much to see here. It's just a wall. We're still you know, going outside the outskirts of town. So there's nothing to see there. But after my uh, uh, layup there with a little bit of an illness that uh, took me down for a day or so, still not feeling 100%, but uh, I'm mobile. I'm getting some food a little bit at a time, so I'm building back up my uh, energy level and uh, I gotta drink some more fluids here. No more, there won't be any cervezas for me for the next day or so, probably until I get down to sea level here, that I can enjoy one. But uh, I don't want to do anything to ruin this here. But And this is a train, as you look up there, there's the rest of the trains. Yeah, I wanted to sit way up there. But this is a Cheapy Express, C H E P E. We just departed Creole, C R E E L. I guess I should put the camera here so you can see my face better. Hey, come on, I can't do everything here. I'm only one man, remember that. So, but this is Ed Getley. Try to make a video, even though I was under the weather for a couple of days. I didn't miss too much. It's not sunny outside. It's still a little overcast and cloudy. And uh, maybe get up to 60 today. I don't know. But it was 27 degrees this morning. Last couple of days have been very cold and windy here. I thought it was going to be down in balmy weather here and everything. But okay, M1 Man Travel. Thanks to all my subscribers and future subscribers because I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. If you could help me out, really appreciate it. But thank you all anyhow. Bye-bye. Well, I'll try to get a shot before we hit more rocks here. But there's a track down there you can see for a little bit. And some mountains over there. All right. It's a little hard shooting through this little glass. If I go here, I got a post right there. So best I can do here. Uh, 
looks like a ski slope way over there or something. Way back there, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It looks like some old, old like uh, cabins or something. Somewhat derelict. Well, there's a dog there. That one looks pretty new. It's got a new door. The train is stopping here. So there's a little station on the other side there. So there must be people living here. They got electricity. And uh, the old pooch is coming over to check us out here. And the uh, dogs are pretty good here. They don't bother anybody. They don't bark. They just roam around here. Coming up on another crossing here. So I can hear them blowing the horn. So she'll be coming up here pretty soon. I thought I saw it there, but maybe I was mistaken. Oh no, here it is. Here's the crossing. This is the Visadero. This is the station here. It's not very big, it's not very wide. The box is right here. And the train is right there. So there it is. The guy up top there. So taking some videos up there, we got him up there too. Okay. So coming walking through the station. We got the smoke from the train here. We got a lot of souvenir shops. People eating the food here, getting a bite out on the train. Watch my step. They got a pretty good setup here for food. I gotta watch my head here. Because it's uh down a little low. All kinds of food, all kinds of shops here. It's smoky here because they're cooking a lot of food, all kinds of souvenirs, all kinds of stuff to buy here. So, yeah, that must be our luggage guy. They got some snakes there too. It's really <laughs> All right, coming down here. Smell all the smoke for the food cooking. Ah, oh, look at this here. We'll watch my step here. Across the street here. Still got more stuff, all kinds of stuff for sale here. Walking sticks, uh, little blankets here. Uh, blankets might be kind of nice to bring home for a gift or something there. I don't know. And uh, this is our lodge. I think this is the picture we saw of the lodge here. So it's a lot of, lot of stuff right outside the body. You don't have to go far. Take a little view here before we go up to our room. So, oh, there's the canyon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there is a drop here. Yeah, look at that. If it was sunny and a little less hazy, it would be pretty good here. But, okay. Oh, 